there's something interesting going on. This is also a very common sight when you're scootering or cycling in a rural, like a farming area. It looks to me like they're um, harvesting corn, perhaps. And I think this machine is um, husking the corn or removing the corn kernels from the cob. So from what I know from previous experiences, a company or a man will own one of these machines and then he will take it from farm to farm throughout the whole region when they are harvesting. So he'll spend a day here going through their corn harvest and then tomorrow he'll go to another farm and of course he gets paid for their uh, services. I don't want to get much closer on my scooter but maybe I can stop here and then I'll walk up there and, and get a closer look. I don't think they'll mind. So there's the corn harvesting machine behind me. I think when I get closer, I won't be able to record any audio. It'll be too loud. So uh, as I walk up there, I probably won't be able to say anything, but we'll see. It's kind of funny standing here because you get all the dust blowing through the air. I'm getting covered in uh, corn dust. So let's uh, go take a closer look. <laughs> ah, look at that. So that is very cool. I got here just in time because they were they got to the uh, the end of the first load maybe. Oh, it looks like uh, yeah they had sacks of corn, and now uh, they just shut down the uh, machinery. <laughs> so funny though. I keep talking about how my IQ drops when I turn on the GoPro. That's so true because I'm concentrating on what I'm saying and I don't really pay as much attention to my environment as I should. And I walked right up to this operation and I didn't realize that the corn cobs were being blasted out of that machine, you know, like shells out of a shotgun. So I walked right up to that and I nearly walked right into that area where I would have been hit in the head with all these uh, corn cobs flying through the air. Wouldn't have hurt, you know, they weren't flying that fast, but of course I had to, I should have walked all the way around it, which is what I did, but I, I was, wasn't paying attention. But I think there's another load being prepared. 
got a uh, a truck here. Yeah, it looks like it is a full full to the brim with uh, corn on the cob. So I think these guys are uh, are waiting for them to finish, and then they'll back the truck up, dump the whole load here, and then uh, start. Uh, they're not husking the corn because the corn has already been de-husked. But what do you? I don't know what you call this process where you're removing the uh, the kernels from the uh, corn cob. Yeah, they're getting ready for the next uh, load. bit windy today so they got to make sure the uh, the tarp doesn't blow away awesome farm truck no doors at all on this side or oh, both sides yeah they're just no doors period what do they need doors for Uh, it's quite the load of corn. Yeah, I'm sure this driver has done this uh, a thousand times in his life. He's probably going to uh, dump the load and then move forward as the, the bed goes up. So he can uh, spread it out over this whole area. I don't think he'll dump the whole load right there. <laughs> Find out. Got to get uh, lined up a bit better. As always, I'm so curious about the economics, how much the corn is worth, how much uh, they have to pay, the farmer has to pay this guy to rent that machine for the day. And of course, these women here that are working will get paid a daily rate for uh, working here and uh, loading up the corn. And then they have to, uh, you know, pack up all the bags. A lot of discussion about exactly how to dump the corn. Oh, look at that. I wasn't expecting that at all. They're going to dump it directly into the hopper. I don't know how that's going to work out. Okay, maybe that makes, uh, maybe that's more efficient. Check this out. <laughs> Uh-oh. Again, with my IQ dropping, I just realized I uh, parked my scooter right on the road and a uh, truck wants to get out. Will he be able to get around? Yeah. So focused on coming back here that uh, I didn't really think about where I left my scooter. Ah, oh, just the lower part comes loose. Oh, okay. And there's an opening there. Okay. Now I kind of get it. So they actually have a little chute opening. I thought they were going to dump the whole load at once. But it's uh, more efficient than that. But the tailgate, they can't open it. The tailgate is going to hit the hopper. There we go. Oh, 
kind of a makeshift uh, chute for all the corn to flow between these two bags. Let's take a closer look at this thing. So you got a tractor, basically. And then this machine. Whoa! Uh, they wanted him to move forward, but I guess he, he moved a bit too far. <laughs> so this is the, uh, the chute where the cobs come flying out of. They go into this hopper after they remove the kernels, and then they go down into here, and then it looks like some mechanism in there shoots them out and they hit this net and then fall into the uh, pile. Yeah, they're very lightweight, so dry, there's nothing to them. Still, this is, uh, this is not where you want to be standing when they fire it up, so I'm going to get out of the way. They're almost ready to give their system a try. So.
So there's the whole operation. Very cool to see. The, uh, the, the belt going around, of course, is made out of rubber and each little paddle is made out of metal, you know, that's been riveted to the, uh, the rubber, uh, yeah, the rubber, <laughs> the rubber belt. Yeah, the rubber belt. I wonder if they uh, have the spare belt and all those sorts of things. I guess another job for the women that are here is to uh, climb up into the truck and they have to constantly feed the rest of the load towards the back in order for it to flow out and down the chute. Reminds me very much of a lot of the machinery that I see in uh, TV shows like uh, Gold Rush, where they have to have a hop, a, a belt to feed in the rocks into a hopper. And then there's a shaker deck, just like when they're uh, mining gold. So the shaker deck is shaking the corn. And then I guess there's some kind of a mechanism in there that removes the uh, kernels. I moved a bit further away just to get away from the uh, sound. A couple of things occurred to me when the, when the women climbed up into the back of the truck. I noticed that after a couple of minutes, all these uh, flip-flops came flying out because someone, I think, reminded them that to go in the truck like that, you shouldn't wear your sandals or your flip-flops because if you lose one of them and it goes into the hopper and they don't notice it, Something like that could probably damage the uh, mechanism, right? So they probably also have to be very careful that pieces of wood and rock and stone don't mix in with the corn because, yeah, a rock going up there could probably destroy the whole mechanism. The other thing that struck me, though, is the noise. When I was close to that device, that machinery, it's incredibly loud. I mean, it is hearing damaging loud to be working next to that all day long i think you'd you'd probably want to have ear protection hearing protection i certainly would i think that uh that is one loud machine
They're moving through that load of uh, corn really fast. That machine it does not mess around. I've only been here a few minutes and the whole load is almost done already. <laughs> One occupational hazard of doing this work uh, is clearly going home dusty. These uh, people will need a, a refreshing shower when they go home. Uh, look at my arm just from being here for a few minutes. Yeah, I think my, my eyes and my ears, my hair, oh, good grief. <laughs> my hair is full of the corn dust. <laughs> they seem to be taking a break from their work. I think they're just uh, getting organized to get the last bit of corn out of that truck. tried to wave a goodbye and a thanks to uh, them, but they're, uh, <laughs> no one has been looking in my direction. They're too uh, busy working. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> oh. Too bad I wasn't closer to capture that on video. Corn slide. That uh, woman was uh, sliding down the slope like the corn was snow. It was a corn. She was a corn toboggan. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> oh. Too bad I wasn't closer to capture that on video. Corn slide. That uh, woman was uh, sliding down the slope like the corn was snow. It was a corn. She was a corn toboggan. All right. Very cool little pit stop. I was leaving there, uh, waved goodbye, and uh, everyone on the truck waved uh, goodbye. So they, they saw me as I was leaving. Uh, no, no one there uh, spoke English that I could uh, talk to or ask any uh, questions. In any event, the machinery was so loud that uh, we probably wouldn't have been able to uh, talk to each other anyway. <laughs> I can feel all the uh, corn dust in my ears. It's tickling. Yeah, I think my, my eyes and my ears, my hair, oh, good grief. <laughs> my hair is full of the corn dust. <laughs> oh man, look at that. <laughs> oh man, look at that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 